in this video let us see another property which is called as bulk modulus and also we will see about compressibility so what is bulk modulus is let us take a container and some fluid is filled in this in order to produce a volume unit volumetric strain how much pressure is needs to be raised is called bulk modulus so what is bulk modulus bulk modulus is represented with k and it is the pressure needed to increase per unit volumetric strain volumetric strain is change in volume divided by initial volume is called as volumetric strain so it is limit so this uh, this limit gives us dp divided by minus dv by v since the application of pressure since with the increase of pressure there will be a decrease in the volume so as the volume decreases which means the negative value will appear to convert it into positive value we supply with a minus so it will be minus here so bulk modulus is equal to dp divided by minus dv by v and now what is compressibility compressibility is the inverse concept of bulk modulus compressibility shows us how much pressure is needed or how incompressible it is bulk modulus shows how incompressible the fluid is if the bulk modulus is high it requires very high pressure to produce a unit volumetric strain which means it is highly incompressible whereas compressibility shows us how compressible the fluid is compressibility is equal to 1 by k which is 1 by bulk modulus and also this bulk modulus can be represented in another formula we have rho into v is equal to mass density is equal to mass by volume so mass is equal to density into volume if we differentiate this this is u this is v differentiation of uh, duv gives us v dx v u dash plus u v dash so here v d rho plus rho dv is equal to differentiation of a constant is zero so we get v d rho is equal to minus rho dv from here d rho by rho is equal to minus dv by v if we substitute this here we get k is equal to dp by minus dv by v is d rho by rho so we can write in this equation also so what is the effect of uh, pressure and temperature on bulk modulus so effect of pressure as pressure increases this bulk modulus also increases this is for fluids which means for liquids and for gases as temperature increases for uh, liquids and gases as temperature increases bulk modulus decreases as temperature increases for gases bulk modulus increases this happens because for liquids as temperature increases the molecules as temperature increases the molecules will be moving far from each other and the density and this density of this liquid decreases so it is easily comp uh, easily compressible than before case so which means the bulk modulus decreases and for gases if the temperature increases there will be a random motion of these particles very random motion and uh, so that the pressure of the gas increases as temperature increases the pressure of the gas increases so there will be the for, uh, the pressure required to compress the gas increases which means the bulk modulus of gases is increased with increase in temperature and there is and we need to write the units here bulk modulus 
pressure is newton per meter square and the volumetric strain has no units and the compressibility units are meter square per newton and there is a term called isothermal bulk modulus isothermal bulk modulus which is at constant temperature isothermal bulk modulus this is given by when temperature is constant it is called isothermal bulk modulus ki is equal to p final final pressure which is equal to rho rt we know that pv is equal to mrt and this can be written as p is equal to rho rt so this is what it represents p is equal to rho rt and there is adiabatic bulk modulus adiabatic bulk modulus when there is no heat transfer it is called as adiabatic bulk modulus so k let us say k a which is equal to gamma into p final so this is adiabatic bulk modulus what is gamma here gamma is adiabatic index adiabatic index which is equal to cp by cv this is specificated constant pressure and cv is specificated constant volume this is about bulk modulus and compressibility